Okay, I guess I'm live. Excellent. So we're going to do this real quick, and we're going to teach somebody to create an avatar from whatever, a, a, getting an avatar from a location and putting it into Unity and shipping it off to VR Chat so they can use it in game. So what we have here is Unity Personal. It's a uh, it's version uh, 5.3.4 P1. Very important. You cannot have a Unity version different than this. Since currently VRChat is on version 5.3 of Unity, you need to have the exact same one. So this is the one that you're looking for. So we're going to use this version of Unity um, until they update it to 5.6 or 5.7 or whatever, which might be in a month. I'm not sure. And But we're going to take this for now and we're going to create a asset to send off to VRChat to use as an avatar. Um, I'm going to be using a, a character from a video game. Um, I do not suggest doing that as you do not own the rights, etc, etc, etc. But I'm going to do that here for demonstration purposes. So what we have here is a blank Unity thing. It says up on top that we are going to be using PC, Mac, or Linux, which is correct. If it's saying something else up here, you want to go to File, Build Settings, and change it to PC, Mac, and Linux, standalone, push, switch, platform, and close. So right now, I have um, an empty canvas. Um, I also have the VR Chat Wikia open. Um, what you're going to need is Unity, that version that I was talking about earlier, 5.3.4p1, and you're going to need the SDK. So click here to go to the vrchat.com website and go to downloads and hit up the SDK. Um, inside the Wikia, there's also avatar creation, etc., etc., etc. Let's skip that for now. You can go here on your own time. I don't really care. So I have the SDK, and I'm going to be putting it into Unity Personal 64-bit. So what we are going to do is I am going to find the SDK that I downloaded earlier, which should be here somewhere. Uh, here it is, VRC SDK, and I'm going to show it in the folder. And it should pop up. There it is. Boom, and I'm going to just slap it on into my assets. And since I can't drag for some reason, I'm going to right click on assets and go to show and explore. And here it is. Boom, hit up assets. Boom, hit up my downloads. Downloads. Actually, you know what? I bet you I could just. I bet you I could just do this the correct way instead and just run the freaking thing. You know what? That's not going to work. Is it? I have so much stuff open. No, it's not going to just work that way. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the Unity that I'm in, open the new Unity project, and hopefully the VRC SDK imports relatively cleanly. We're just going to wait a second. Here it is. Yes, it is now decompressing the package. And it is going to take in all of the SDK that we need to get this job done and over with as quickly as humanly possible. But since this is a live stream, you guys get to wait with me. Do, 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 do. Um, keep in mind that avatars have to be under 20,000 polygons at the very bare minimum. Um, VR chat recommends 10k polys for your characters. You also need to have a rigged avatar. Um, I believe the SDK has riggings that you can use in Blender or whatever. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't gone that deep into rigging. I use already rigged models. So, and rigging is essentially the bone structure of the character. It needs to have 15 bones to be usable. And a lot of those are fingers and thumbs and arms and legs and torso. So if you don't have any bones, the character cannot move. So you need to have the bones. All right, so now we're here and I have the VRC SDK here. Um, I don't need to go into this because there's no need. You can also go into the Wikia and figure out what the SDK actually does if you want. Um, I also am going to grab a shader 
so I can actually get decent results out of these characters so they actually look decent and Cubed's Unity Shaders um, is made by Cubed Paradox and he is a regular on VR chat and likes to create things like this for the users so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download Cubes Unity Shaders real quick and slap them in the assets as well. Let me see if I can actually show this in Explorer now. Yes, I can. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to open up Cubes Unity Shaders here and I'm going to dig through to assets, Cubes Unity Shaders, and this is what the stuff that I want. So I'm going to take that file and I'm going to drag it right into here. And it's going to copy on in when it's happy. I have way too many things open. Wow. Let me actually. Yep, there we go. Cubes Unity Shaders, awesome. I'm going to close every single of my seven zips except for one. Um, boom, 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 boom. Doesn't matter. I need this one, right? Yes, okay. Every other one I can get rid of, so let me just do that right now. While I'm here, I'm going to take the the user, or the, the, the character that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to just slap it also into my assets just so I have it. And now I literally don't need 7-Zip anymore, so I'm going to close all those 7-Zip windows. So now I have the VRC SDK, my model that I'm going to use, and Cube's Unity shaders. So let's go back here, and it's going to import those assets into Unity because it actually reads the file structure and just says, oh, there's been changes, so let's update that stuff on Unity so it's all going to work nicely, which is great. So we're going to wait patiently, or whatever. All right, there we are and I'm going to open up the character that I'm looking at and I'm going to click this little arrow and I, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the bone structure to make sure that this is going to work right and typically they look something like this this typically says I have bones and I'm going to work others may only have the character and the uh, the analysis on the tries uh, uh, triangles and stuff like that vertices and if it only has these two things you're not going to go anywhere and you're going to want to um, put bones in there using blender but this one already has bones so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose in the animation type I'm going to choose humanoid and if you don't choose an animation type you ain't going to get any animations so make sure it's humanoid and if there's any weirdness it's going to show up here but this is all happiness so I'm not concerned I'm going to push apply and there we go this has been applied and now I can drag the character into the hierarchy and it'll automatically place it where I want it to be placed and I'm going to go from perspective I'm going to go to ISO instead so we can see the character looking good I usually get rid of the extra garbage or at least move it out of the way like this camera garbage this light source I just move it so I can still see what the heck I'm doing um, so we have the character and we need to add some analysis information some we need to get we need to get the character into VR chat and to do that we need to go over to add component and we type in avatar or close to avatar and we have VRC avatar descriptor and we need that if that's not there it's not getting to VR chat Okay, and because we have the VRC SDK installed, we also have this little thing called VR, VRChat SDK up here. And we're going to go up here and we're going to click Show Build Control Panel. And you're going to receive this little control panel here. And it requires username and password, so I'm going to go do that over here where you can't see it, I hope. Do, 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 do. I hope I remember my username and password. It can be really embarrassing if I don't. All right, we are in. Okay, so over here it says uh, your SDK is newer than it. it doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, as long as you're using the correct Unity version for the SDK that we're using, um, you're going to be fine. And you're also going to see here in the VR chat little thingy midjigger here. If I actually, you know what? It'd probably be just easier if I just drag that over there. There we go. Um, you can ignore most of the errors if you have any. Um, unless it's keeping you from building your project. So at the moment, we're just going to ignore all the reds. Over here, it says I have polygons 5,200. You, Like I said, you want under 20,000. So 5,200 is a great number. If you have that kind of number, you are like the best person on VRChat. 
okay? If you have 10,000, we're like, okay, you're fine. If you have 19,999, people kind of hate you. Just, just FYI. So, okay, we have the character. Over here, we're going to do some basic setup here. So, update mode, yeah, normal's fine. This is fine. Uh, we're also noting how tall the character is. If you don't know how tall your character is, specifically, you want it somewhere around 6 feet probably less. So if you go into game objects, you go to 3D object and you push cube, this cube is one meter, aka three feet tall. This character is ginormous, like way too big. Like she's like eight feet tall, which is silly. So let's make her a little bit smaller. In fact, I want to make her half size. Let's scale her down 0.5, all the way down. Now, now she's like four feet tall, standard 12 year old, whatever, it's fine, perfect. If you want to make her a little bit bigger, like maybe I do, 0.6. There, now she's just under six, three, six feet. Still, I'm picky when I do this. Okay, there we go. Character's looking good. All right, so we have this view position, and the view position is where are your eyes on this character? So when you get in first person, where do your eyes end up? So let's bring it to the side here. And this little circle, that you see here is this position. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower it a little bit to bring it to the eye level. So probably 1.4, no, 1.5, 1.45. There we go, perfect. And we're going to tuck this ball pretty much as deep into her head as we possibly can. And But we don't want it at zero, zero. So we're going to do 0 0.05 maybe, 0 0.1, 0, 0, 0.05. I would do 005, probably 004, just because. Um, the closer you are to the center of the head, um, the more you can see of the body. And when you look down in real life, you see your body. So you want to have it pretty close to the center of the head. And we're going to do, it's a female animation set because this is a, this is a female. Um, it doesn't matter if you scale the IPD because it's going to do it anyway. Um, this does not have any limp, lip synchronization because even though I can, probably do it in the future. Um, it takes a little bit of work to figure out. Jaw, flap, bone, maybe. Do we actually have a jaw? I don't even think we do. Let me look. Model, origin, waist, hips, spine. Actually, we're going up the spine. Spine, spine two, spine three, neck, head. F, J, lip, U. I have no idea what these mean. Um, if you have a jaw, you would designate the jaw, and you'll have a jaw flapper. So congratulations, your jaw will be flapping. Um, but I don't know which one it is, so I'm not going to bother with it right now. So we're just going to go to default. Uh, don't worry, you can try to auto detect if you want. They think it's J flip U. I don't. It, it'll look weird if it's wrong, and if it's wrong, you can change it later. It doesn't really matter. Um, pipeline manager, you can effectively ignore. So everything we have here um, is done we don't need anything else. We're all done. We changed the scale if it was too big. Um, we we made sure that this is a humanoid and not generic before we put her into the hierarchy. We adjusted her view position so now the eyeballs are lining up correctly um, and that's it. Uh, that, that's how you get the a, a base model in. So we're going to go ahead and build and publish and we have to call it something so that should be fine. Now we're building the assets, and we're going to wait nice and patiently for this to finish. Actually, I forgot something. I forgot something, so we're going to let this fetch user data real quick, and I'm going to kill it. There, it's dead. I forgot, in my rush, to actually set the um, shaders, so let's do that. Um, as you can see, I just dragged into the project I dragged cubes unity shaders in and over here in shaders oh look here's cubes unity shaders and let me drag this over a little bit cubes oops that's specular cube paradox flatlit tune is basically everything you're ever going to need for any sort of video game style character so let's set this up real quick so cube paradox flatlit tune cube paradox flatlit tune Boom, flatlit. You can already see that it's already getting better. More realistic to what we're actually looking for. 
fantastic. Look at that, it's beautiful. If your character has additional materials that are not included, like if we look here in images, if you have like a normal map, which are generally blue and purple, um, it gives the character a lot more definition and you're going to want to add those. And just so you know, I can't do it here because I don't have a normal map, but if I did, I'm just going to show you how this works real quick. So we're going to go to the character itself, boom, click on her until you get here, and you're going to look here and you can add the normal maps just by clicking and dragging into normal map. And when you do that, it's going to give you the extra visual fidelity that you're looking for in a character without adding polygons. And that's exactly what we're looking for. We don't want to add polygons. So, okay, so now she actually looks good. Awesome. Let's, let's run her again. So build and publish. It's going to rebuild because we have made slight changes. And we're fetching the user data. And there's one last thing that we want to do before we're done here. And we're going to give it a second to fetch the user data because it likes to take its sweet, sweet time. But the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make an avatar uh, skin, uh, avatar window, uh, an image that represents our character so others who are outside of the room can see your character. And right now, as you can see, we have this basic from behind look, which is totally fine. I mean, hey, you do what you want to do, right? But I like having a little bit of something that can actually be seen. So as you can see, I clicked on the camera and panned the vision to the left so I could actually see. And I'm going to push R, sorry, not R. I'm going to push E. So I get this little rotational thing and I'm gonna rotate the camera. I'm gonna rotate the camera. I'm gonna back it up a little bit, bring it up a little bit, maybe pan it down a little bit. It's kind of freaking ugly, actually, but hey, whatever. Good enough. Boom. Go back to game. Oh, look, it's beautiful. I'm going to call her May. Totally agree. Upload. And just like that, given that there's no errors, and there's not, check the console. Oh, look, see? Everything is clear of errors now because it actually compiled properly. And we're done. This is, that's how you do an avatar. From zero to hero, just import it make sure it's humanoid check to make sure it has enough bones needs at least 15 uh, if it doesn't have 15 it's going to tell you and add some shaders throw in the scene sorry not scene descriptor the avatar descriptor do the IPD aka the eyeballs make sure they're all set up and uh, make sure it's male or female and you're good to go uh, that's literally it you don't have to do anything else I hope that was informative and uh, yeah cool talk to you guys later